Since its founding in 1610, Santa Fe has been a beacon for those yearning for adventure, a different way of life, a place of expression, and the opportunity to meld the old with the new. Santa Fe, which means the City of Holy Faith in Spanish, is the oldest capital city in the nation and also has the distinction of having the highest altitude at 7,200 feet of any capital city in the country. The mountains that serve as a backdrop to the city are called the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, whose name, given by the early Spanish explorers, means the blood of Christ. They are part of the Rocky Mountains, one of the longest mountain chains on earth. Santa Fe boasts a population of 84,000. New Mexico's population is 2.1 million and is the fifth largest state landmass wise in the country after Alaska, Texas, California, and Montana. The state of New Mexico's population includes 19 different Indian pueblos. 15 of those pueblos are in close proximity to the city of Santa Fe. During the 13th century, the Native Americans began settlements along major rivers, primarily the Rio Grande, which begins in south central Colorado and flows through to the Gulf of Mexico. The Pueblo Indians of New Mexico are believed to be descendants of the Anasazi, who populated the Four Corners region of New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah at Chaco Canyon, Mesa Verde, Monument Valley, and Canyon de Chez. Francisco Vasquez de Coronado was the first major explorer to come in contact with New Mexico's indigenous population at Zia Pueblo in his 1540 expedition. But it was the Spanish explorer, Don Juan de Oñate, who established the first settlement near San Juan Pueblo in 1598. By 1605, the Spanish settlers had established a foothold in Santa Fe, where the San Miguel Mission was built and today is the oldest church in the nation. In 1610, La Parroquia Paris Church was built where the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi is located today. In 1625, La Conquistadora, the oldest Madonna in the United States, was brought to Santa Fe from Mexico by Fray Alonso Benavides, who was to become the superior for the Franciscan missionaries of New Mexico. The statue depicting a Marian figure carved in Willowwood was given the liturgical title, One Assumption of Mary into Heaven. 400 years later, the Catholic community continues her veneration. The forced conversion of the Pueblo Indians to Christianity, along with land seizures and servitude, caused considerable strife for the indigenous community. By the latter part of the 17th century, the Indians rebelled in the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. Led by the medicine man Pope of O.K. Owinge, the Pueblos successfully drove the Spanish colonists out of New Mexico for 12 years down to El Paso del Norte, which today is comprised of El Paso, Texas and Juarez, Mexico. In 1692, Don Diego de Vargas and his contingent of soldiers reclaimed New Mexico for the Spanish crown. La Conquistadora, who had been rescued from the parroquia as it was set ablaze during the Pueblo Revolt, fled with the Spaniards in 1680 and returned with de Vargas. Today, the Madonna resides in her own chapel at the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. In 1821, William Becknell opened a trade route for the United States called the Santa Fe Trail, which began in Franklin, Missouri and ends on the Santa Fe Plaza. This era through 1848 was known as the Mexican period, when New Mexico was under the rule of Mexico. The East-West Santa Fe Trail provided access to the U.S. Army under the leadership of Brigadier General Stephen Watts Kearney, to establish the American occupation in 1846. In 1848, the peace treaty, known as the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, was established, granting the U.S. government land that today is comprised of the American Southwest and California. In 1850, the Vatican appointed Jean-Baptiste Lamy as bishop to Santa Fe. Lamy quickly went to work to establish the first archdiocese in the area and oversaw the building of the Romanesque St. Francis Cathedral, now known as the Basilica Cathedral of St. Francis of Assisi. 
During the Civil War, 22 miles southeast of Santa Fe, Yankee and Confederate soldiers fought at the Battle of Glorieta, where more than 100 Confederate soldiers lost their lives. The railroad came to Santa Fe in 1878, providing a new and fast mode of transportation for people from the East. Businessmen, politicians, physicians, writers, and artists, and other enterprising souls laid claim to the city and began to shape the cultural landscape. In 1912, New Mexico became the 47th state in the nation, with Santa Fe as its capital. Like the rest of the country, Santa Fe was impacted by the Great Depression in 1929 and the Dust Bowl era of the early 1930s. Government programs like the WPA and the Civilian Conservation Corps brought relief, not only to citizens of Santa Fe, but to the thousands of people who passed through on the Mother Road, Route 66, that passed through the middle of town on their way to California in search of work. In 1943, during World War II, the dawn of the Atomic Age got its start in Santa Fe when the Manhattan Project opened an office at 109 East Palace Avenue as a checkpoint for scientists and military personnel on their way up to the hill, today known as Los Alamos National Laboratory. In 1956, the Santa Fe Opera was founded by John Crosby, placing it on the map for classical music lovers who trekked to Santa Fe from around the world each summer to experience professional opera. Also in 1956, the Bacigalupa studio of Gian Andrea was the first art gallery to open on Canyon Road, paving the way for Santa Fe in becoming one of the largest art markets in the country. In the 1960s, during the Vietnam War, the hippies moved to Santa Fe seeking an alternate way of life and continued to shape the city. By the mid-1980s, Santa Fe's charm and ambiance had gone mainstream and major media outlets began to market the town as the crown jewel of the Southwest. Santa Fe becomes world-renowned for its temperate climate, breathtaking vistas, and as a cultural and cosmopolitan haven. In 2005, Santa Fe was designated as this nation's first United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organization creative city, otherwise known as UNESCO. Since the mid-20th century, Santa Fe has been referred to as the city different because of its anything goes attitude. This mindset includes the diversity of its spirituality. Surrounded by a mountain vortex, Santa Fe is a mecca of spiritual transformation. Although Catholicism was the first religion introduced to the area, Native American spirituality has been entrenched in the land for thousands of years. The presence of ancient religions of the East, Old European faiths, American-born religions, mysticism, and New Age are all found in the capital city. Today, the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi continues to be the defining landmark in downtown Santa Fe, reminding us that the city of holy faith belongs to all of those who have passed through and for those who continue to arrive.